certainly glad you could join me today. I've been on Twitter, unfortunately. And like the thing about Twitter is you really gotta take it in small doses because if you scroll long enough you will come down with a sickness it's a very serious sickness fuck shit itis this is a real epidemic i mean this is serious bro this is like people are dying like this is this is a this is a real look it up look it up i think they said the symptoms include drowsiness um vomiting from excessive amounts of ignorance brain rotting and an iq drop of about 40 to they're saying 90 points i mean this is like this is crazy so i try not to be on it too much but every time i do go on it i'm, I'm pretty much guaranteed to, to to see some some fuck shit it's just unavoidable at this point so the tweet that um made me want to make this video goes as follows i guess i am 31 years old and afraid of sabrina carpenter afraid does this woman look look like somebody that 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 you should be afraid of does, does she look like someone that is intimidating that, that is scary does she honestly when this woman walks into a room does she strike you with fear i want you to look into these eyes and, and tell me because i genuinely find it unsettling when she pantomimes a sex position in that one song in her concert the song in question is juno now let's just take a look at, at the lyrics of juno to really get a full idea of what this song is about don't have to tell your hot ass a thing oh yeah you just get it whole package babe i like the way you fit god bless your dad's genetics wanna try out some freaky positions i'm so fucking horny i'm sorry but like what, what, what I, I, how did you expect her to to perform this song was she supposed to bring out fucking mickey mouse and they were supposed to do some cartwheels or some shit and talk about dare or something i just don't understand why her doing this is where we're drawing the line oh but it's inappropriate to do it in front of an audience full of children okay but like none of the content in her recent music has been catered towards children it's not been kid friendly at all like have they even listened to short and sweet where every song she's talking about how horny she is is it not kind of on the parents for bringing them to a sabrina carpenter show knowing that she has songs that have these type of lyrics oh but she's still a disney star so you know this this, this behavior is just un unacceptable unacceptable yeah because former disney stars have such an amazing track record just such an amazing track record of just being like super like just squeaky clean like no like no no disney star has ever done anything remotely inappropriate before i just can't think of one instance where that that's happened like what are we talking what what are we what are we talking janet jackson would have quite literally had these people in a body bag with the with the stuff that she was doing on stage then there's tweets like this that really want to highlight that she's a former disney star Ooh, ooh, she's a former disney star Ooh, clearly people are still viewing her as this disney channel artist even though it's been very evident in this new era of her music that she isn't that anymore she's 25 years old now she's a grown ass woman making grown ass woman music that hasn't been marketed or catered towards kids and she's just having fun like honestly this most of what i'm seeing here is relatively harmless i'm I'm sure the kids are gonna be fine so honestly if you're 31 years old and you're feeling afraid of this five foot woman dancing on stage then seek help immediately I must go to 